afternoon from Maryland Stadium. It's, it's the Masked Crusaders. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Jack Rothenberg. You are watching the Turp Talk post-game show brought to you by Rick Jacklich, the big dog. Jack, not a whole lot of offense today. 12 to 10, Maryland wins. <laughs> yeah, de definitely Maryland won. It was a very low scoring game. But I was very impressed with some of the players on offense, especially Dante Dimas Jr. He had eight receptions for 98 yards. His connection with uh, Tungvaluwa early in the season, especially building off of last season, I think is something to look forward to with this upcoming season. Uh, defense came to play today. The player of the game ends up being mostly the defensive back. I believe he had eight tackles. You have the stats there. Uh, so Jordan Mosley ends up as your MVP. Lotez Rogers has a big game as an edge rusher. We've been on him since he got here. I think he's from Eleanor Roosevelt. Most exciting play of the game was a uh, flea flicker type reverse. Fa Amatu, the transfer from Coffeyville Community College, throws the ball to Nick De Janeiro. Uh, some new names to learn. What do you think of that yeah, one? Yeah, it was an exciting play. It was a toss to the right, and he launched it about 40 yards. you've been hurt in a car crash, friends will tell you, you need a lawyer. We're proud that at the Jackets Law Group, our clients tell their friends, you need my lawyer. Find out why we've been named best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. And while the Daily Record, Maryland's legal newspaper, has named us both best civil litigation firm and best personal injury trial law firm. See why I was named Lawyer of the Year? Attorney of the Year and Litigator of the Year by three separate legal organizations. Find out also why all three of our lawyers here at the Jack Law Group have been named by the American Personal Injury Academy as a top 100 lawyer in the entire country. That's three for three. If you've been hurt in any type of car crash, bite them back with the big dogs from the small firm. Call us at 855-BIG-DOG. Don't just get a lawyer, get the lawyer. It was a nice play. All right, you excited to be back at a live sporting event? Yeah, it was my first game in a while, and it was there weren't that many fans here, but it did. When, when there was an exciting play, there was a lot of noise in the stadium, so it's, it was very exciting to be back. Uh, I guess my favorite play, other than that sort of flea flicker look, Tayon Fleet Davis stabs the ball out of the air with one hand on a half a screen pass, and the crowd goes, woo! 2,500 or so fans. Uh, it's nice to have some stadium food be out again uh, not much to see here defense is better offense look you're talking about a guy who uh, only went 35 for 47 with Leah uh, just didn't score there are a lot of penalties there but you can see why they say Maryland receivers are some of the best in the country yeah, I think. And, and building off of what I was saying with Demas he's also making just strides with all the receivers especially Rakeem Jarrett as well so I think it's gonna be an exciting offense this upcoming season with Rakeem Jarrett, Dante Dimas, and Talia coming into form, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we, we kick it off in a few months. Hopefully, we'll be talking lacrosse here. I know Bruce is at the Hopkins Maryland game. Maryland leads at the moment. Four, Jack Rothenberg, Mason, Bruce. I'm going to be back in the studio. This is Wayne Viner for the Big Dog post game show. Uh, we will see you in the NCAA tournament for Maryland lacrosse.